Hi, this is Amy Ennen from Facilities Planning. And I'm Angela Vreeland from Facilities Environmental Services Group. Today we're going to take you on a little tour of a school in the district to show you all of the accommodations we have ready to keep the students and the staff in the district safe when they return to a hybrid teaching and learning model. As soon as you enter a school within the district, you will see a lot of signage. Uh, one of the signs we have up in several locations, particularly at our entrances, are reminders like this one, wash your hands often, all of the things that we know help slow the spread of COVID-19. Another thing that we're doing here in the district is we're asking families, community members to really reduce the time that they come into our buildings. If they really need to come into our buildings, we understand. We do ask that they wear a mask. We also have plexiglass dividers in every main office with hand sanitizer and masks just in case someone forgot. So this machine is an air handler, and what it does is it brings fresh outdoor air in, and it filters it, and it heats it up, and it provides it to the rest of the school building. And so it is serving all the spaces within the building, including classrooms and offices, cafeterias, um, and gymnasiums. In response to COVID, we are doing a number of things that were recommended by the CDC, the EPA, and the American Society of Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Engineers. We are increasing filtration. And so the existing filters were taken out and replaced with a higher MERV rating filter. And what that does is it removes more particulates from the air, including dust and allergens and mold spores uh, to overall improve air quality and reduce virus transmission. We are also increasing the runtime of the air handler. So two hours before people arrive, we will be turning the air handlers on to pre-flush the building. And we are also leaving them running two hours after people leave, again, to provide a post-flush of the building every day. The third thing we are doing is we are increasing the amount of outside air that the air handlers are bringing in. So this is a kindergarten classroom in one of our elementary schools. We're providing every room in all buildings with cleaning supplies. So this is to clean surfaces throughout the day. Um, additionally, hand sanitizers available throughout the building in every room as well. Another thing we do is we encourage students to wash their hands as much as possible. Many of our classrooms have sinks and there are laboratories nearby for those that don't. Every night we're going to disinfect in every room in every classroom during hybrid learning. And then we'll go through clean all the hard surfaces, furniture, chairs, tables, all that, and then we'll spray everything down with electrostatic sprayer with a disinfectant that will sanitize the room. The same with the cafeterias, basically any surface that the children have been around, the hallways, the stairways, the railings, and basically anything that they touch, the doors, you know, all the all high touch surfaces will be cleaned. Basically the building will be completely sanitized every night. Each student is provided with a water bottle and all of our schools have hydration stations and the purpose of those is to provide easy, fast water filling of the bottles. And we are encouraging students to drink out of those bottles rather than the drinking fountain directly. And also in our bathrooms, we have signage encouraging students to thoroughly wash their hands. So each school has a dedicated isolation room and the purpose of this room is to provide a student a space to go if they exhibit any symptoms of COVID. And we use this slider to track if the room needs cleaning or if it's ready for the next student to use. Also within the space, we have a true HEPA air purifier, of course, to purify the air. Throughout all of our school buildings, we have signs that remind students to keep their distance and stay safe. They were designed by the Director of Student Health and Wellness, by communications, and the facilities team. Thank you so much for taking the time to tour with us today. If you have any additional questions, please see our website, spps.org reopen.